Hi guys, I thought it would be good to do a video on my favourite app right now, which is Vinted. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my orders and I'm going to check this first one. Okay, so the first order I need to pack is this printed dress. So I'm going to click on it. So this person has bought it and I'm going to press get the shipping label. I'm just covering my address and my phone number. This person has bought it. I'm going to press get the shipping label and my address will be printed on there and their address will be printed on there as well. Now they'll send me an email with the shipping label but if I just don't want to wait for the email I can just press download. They also have the shipping instructions button and it'll tell you exactly what you need to do. So I need to pack the parcel, um, print the label and attach it to my parcel. Sometimes people um, choose the option where you don't need to print the label but sometimes you do need to print the label so it really depends and if you do need to print the label you can just go to your local library and print it out you can go to the nearest parcel shop or locker and then yeah you can track the item so I'm just going to download the shipping label this is the shipping label that comes um, and I just print this and stick it on the parcel easy peasy so now let's pack the parcel this is my box of vintage stuff it usually doesn't like sit out in my room but I thought I'd just keep it out for this video so this is like all old stuff that I'm getting rid of so now I'm gonna have to hunt for that dress this is the aftermath of me trying to search for the items in this big bucket but I finally got them out here on my bed so someone ordered this Thomas the Tank Engine um, jacket, someone ordered this Spider-Man jacket, someone ordered this H&M dress and then this Boohoo dress. So I actually bought these shipping bags which are so handy. Um, I can let you know where I got them from in, in the description because it's like a shop in my area but I'm assuming they also do delivery. And yeah, all I'm going to do is just fold this up. and just stick it in here. But because I've got quite a few orders at the moment and I don't want to lose track of like what's what because they'll all look the same and be in the same bag. I've got these, um, I've got these like, this roll of labels and I'll just write on here, um, tank engine or like Thomas tank engine um, jacket and I'll stick it on here so that when I'm attaching the shipping labels, because I don't actually have a printer at home, I can't do it right now. But when I do start attaching the shipping labels, I know what goes on what. This is my bag of stuff that I need to post. I've got four orders at the moment. And like I said to you guys earlier, um, because they're all in the same colour mailing bag, to differentiate, I've just put what the actual item is. So Thomas the Tank, it's supposed to say engine, but it's actually Thomas the Tank engine jacket. I'm going to take them to the parcel shop right now. <laughs> We're at the parcel locker. <laughs> That's literally my brain right now. Um, so I'm going to do the H&M one first because otherwise I'm going to get confused um, and I don't want to mix them up. <laughs> so H&M dress, I'm going to go on my emails and go to the shipping label. Um, I can't show you the actual shipping label because it's got, actually no, it doesn't have any per, um, personal details on it. So this is what I get from Vinted after the buyers re like bought the item. I'm just going to zoom in. Send or return a parcel. Oops. Delete. Um, then I just scan this. Uh, this is small so I'm just going to open the small locker. And then yeah, I just put it in there yeah so look I just want to reconfirm to you guys that in the instructions the email instructions it says pack your parcel which I did second option is get the QR code from the conversation screen with the buyer download the QR code to your phone you don't need to print a label then drop the parcel off at the locker so I don't need to I didn't need to print a label so all I do H&M dress in there Close the locker, finish my parcels in the locker, um, and then I want the receipt, so I'm just going to get my phone and scan the QR code, open it up, put my
put my email in and get my receipt. Ta-da! And then yeah, press finish. I'm so obsessed with the app. I think it's just amazing. Vinted is a buying and selling app. You can buy clothes on there and then you can sell clothes on there as well. It kind of promotes sustainability. So instead of like when you have loads of clothes and you just put them in a charity bin, I thought, you know, let me try this Vinted app because I find myself doing a lot of tri trips to charity and I would hate to know that the clothes I give to charity actually end up in landfill or something. You could either sell them on Vinted and keep the profit for yourself or use the profit to buy more clothes instead of buying clothes from shops or you could give the profit to charity. It's completely up to you how you spend the money you make on Vinted but I thought it'd be a really cool app to show you guys if you did want to make some extra money or if you, you know, if you just want to have some fun because I actually find the process really fun. As you can see, I've got quite a few items up here, clothing items that I've favourited because these are ones that I kind of want to buy and then if you go down you kind of get a news feed now I've said that my size is size 12 which on Vinted it's a large I always thought a size 12 was a medium but anyways it's a large on Vinted so you'll see that a lot of my recommendations on Vinted are size large I can shop by brand as well or I can just keep scrolling and they have some really nice clothes on there. I'll show you like some things I've just bought. They haven't come yet, but I can show you what like I decided to buy. Don't follow me guys. My username is Nyla G. I've just got so many items listed. I became a little bit obsessed with vintage. Um, <laughs> and just kind of listed my whole wardrobe because like these pink trousers, I'm never going to wear them to work. They're a bit too bright for me. So I thought might as well make a little bit of money from them. So yeah, just sold selling loads of stuff you know my white cp joggers i never wear them this skirt it's from she and it was actually too big for me so i'm like gonna sell it i don't want it to just sit in my wardrobe and then this i never really wear anymore this it just makes me look kind of fat <laughs> so so far i've sold these these true religion joggers for 15 pounds i've sold this cold set that i never wear for 20 pounds this um hood rich like bulletproof vest thing for 25 um this hoodrich cap for 15 this um dress for three pounds another dress for three pounds a cap for eight pounds you get the idea i'm selling lots on here and yeah it's not like crazy priced i'm not making so much money but i guess this app is less about profit and more about like getting a couple of quid that you otherwise wouldn't have done if you had just given it away or just dashed it basically. The branded items like Juicy Couture, Hood Rich, True Religion are going to go for more and then the non-branded items are going to go for less. So as you saw I sold uh, True Religion joggers for £15 but then I sold a Boohoo dress for £3. That's obvious because it you know branded people are going to pay more for it but they're not going to pay that much for just a dress that they can get online anyways i wouldn't say it's like a car boot sale but it kind of reminds me of one when you come onto this app expect to pay and sell for those kind of prices this app is not something where you're going to list things for like crazy amounts obviously if it's a designer item and it's worth a lot then you do list it but you can also search for that same item a lot of people are usually selling the same kind of thing and you can see what they've priced it at and then Vinted will also show you like what other similar items go for. It's really useful, you can kind of compare your stuff. There's also a review section on Vinted which I think is so cool. So they can review me as a buyer, everyone's really nice. And then I review, you can review the buyer as well. So they've reviewed me as a seller, but I will review them as a buyer. There's actually no fee for sellers. So the fact that I listed those things for like £15, £20, whatever, what I listed it for is exactly what I'm going to get and what is going to come into my bank account. There's no fees at all. So the buyer is the one that pays the fees. So the buyer pays for the postage and the buyer pays for um, buyer protection fee to Vinted. But you don't see that part of it. All you see is your money that you listed it for, which I think is so cool because usually when you sell things on these apps, um, the app takes a you know percentage or you have to think about how much postage is going to cost but luckily you can just forget about it so for example if i'm listing a top for three pounds i'm going to get 
that three pounds which i think is just the beauty of vinted people can also message you on the app um as you can see i've got quite a few messages they can either you know just message you asking some more information about the item asking for more pictures of the item they can also like do this thing where they send you an offer for the item so like if you've got it listed for £10 they might offer you £8 for it and you can decide to accept or decline it and then you also get like notifications so you can see that you know this person has favorited my item or one item that I had favorited oh I accidentally pressed on that one item that I had favorited has been sold now so you can see that like Vinted keep you updated on all your listings and like who's interested and then obviously if you want to you could message that person that's interested. I recommend you all download it and this is not a paid collaboration or anything. I'm just genuinely trying to share with you the fact that I love this app. I feel like it helps you declutter but at the same time it helps you buy pieces that you know you wouldn't usually buy because they'd be too expensive. There's so many things on this app that I could show you and so many different features but I didn't want to overcrowd this video I feel like this is just a cool intro video into Vinted but if you want me to go into like detail about how it all works just let me know 